So how do you balance the often troublesome task of overselling yourself versus underselling yourself in an interview? So I always tell people that it's okay to teach your own horn, but you want to be balanced to where you're not cocky. And I always tell people that it's okay to be confident, but you know, it's so, but you want to dial it back because cockiness can be a, a turnoff. Um, I always tell people who are underselling themselves to, you know, I, I motivate them because a lot of times when I'm working on resumes, a, a lot of people are, are amazed about, you know, how I can transform what they had and, and embellish who they are. And they're like, wow, I didn't even think that I did that. And so when I'm working on resumes, I ask a lot of questions. And with those questions, I tell people that as you're answering these questions, I'm implementing the information in the resume, but it's good that you're thinking on it because when you go into the interview, you're going to need that same thought process. And so as they're reading through their new resume, I'm looking at them and I'm talking with them, I'm coaching and I'm saying, hey, you may not, you thought that this was so minimum, but you have no idea that as we're looking at these job um, requirements and the job description, that this is exactly what the employer is looking for. So you don't want to undersell yourself. You want to be confident in the fact that, you know, your light shines so bright that the employer is gleaming to it and they want to consider you. And that's going to be very important because a lot of people, when they undersell themselves in the interview, they're underselling themselves in the salary requirements that they're asking for. And that's very important because the way that you sell yourself, it not only works in how you want to get that job opportunity, it works another way in your salary requirements because a lot of employers, if they really want you, they can give you above and beyond what, what you're asking for, but it's all in how you ask yourself and you understand it what the salary requirements are for the job.